Okay, we'll start with the Mustard S60 size 8 nymph hook. We need some extra fine lead wire. Let me just put it at the front here under the thorax. Break that off. And break that off. We've got shear 40 naught brown. We just start at the front there. And we just catch that lead wire in. Push that around. Just build up a stopper there, stop it going forward. And go over it and back and just put a stopper in at the back stop it going backwards and then we can go back to there we need a little bunch of moose body hairs for the tail spin my thread A bit too long that. I'll just move it up. That's good. And we can go back to there. We can go back up here. And we just go a little bit over the lead wire. And then we can trim that off. And then back. Towards the tail. And we need a length of copper wire. Tying right down into the tail base. Like that. And then we can go back up here. Need a little weight on this muskrat nymph. And we're back to there. And what we do is we make a little dubbing loop. Make sure that the two ends of the loop are tight together. And then we can go back up to the thorax. Like so. And before you put this loop out of the way, hang your dubbing spinner on it. Now when you hang your dubbing spinner on it only hang it on one side. If you hang it on both sides your dubbing spinner will stand there and spin and spin and twist it all up again. So we just move this out of the way. There we go. Then what we need this is a little strip of muskrat fur. So we take a petit jean clip and we put this on the fur like that. We take our scissors and cut that off there. Let's remove that. And we take our long scissors and we make a straight cut along the whole length like that. And we take another petit chain clip and we put that on there keeping your fingers pressed on here to keep it tight we take the first clip and we want to remove the guard hairs and we just pull those out now like that till you're done then we end up with a piece cut like that thin at this end, thick at that end. So the thin end wants to go in the dubbing loop first. Just position that. Pull 
popped out. That will do us. And then we spin that up. Like so. Then we can wind this on. All the way up to the thorax. Just to mind that again. Take it up and then we can take it back here. We'll tie that off there. Remove the dubbing spinner. And what we want to do is just give that a brush. To lift everything out like that. We take our wire in up the body like so over there a little tie that off remove that Scissors, and now I want to just trim this down. Like so, and we go back up here into that. Take another little bunch of moose body hair and we just go over this gently at first otherwise it will all flare and you'll never get rid of it. And then we can just tie down those ends and then we can go back tightly over it. Just check I need to go back a little bit further there. That's good. Like that. Make another dubbing loop, go forward, put my dubbing spinner on again, and then I've got a small clip with just the under fur again. And put that in, spin that up. Make another fur brush. I'm going over the lead wire. And we can tie that off at the front. Remove that. Take the moose body, let's push this back first. Go wee ways back into the head, like so. Get all those moose hairs flat, and then we can go over. Not happy with those yet. So, and then we can go over there. That's much better. A couple of times. And we can tighten in. Take our scissors. Remove those. And go down into the hook eye. And make our way up. Over the moose hairs. And 
to form the head. And we finish. And let's remove that. You can give the wing case a coat of UV resin and varnish the head. And that's the finished muskrat nymph. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.